like a lab rat. Johnny Depp, a mean freak dad at home, a super busy mom. Johnny Depp, the boy's best friend is a talking dog. That's right. Three extreme jeans and an air breathing shark. Mega action game controller skating in the park. A feral booster, bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny Test. Johnny Test. This is the life of a boy named Johnny Test. Before we see your experiments on molecular fusion, I'd like to introduce some new students, Mr. Black and Mr. White. No way! The government G-dudes said to steal our experiments for their secret covert operations. No, dude, we're here for a righteous education and to meet babes. Aunt Miss X and Miss Z. No way! Those are two cyborgs sent by some evil dude to steal our experiments to take over the world! If you shut up, I'll go out with you. They're cool. Now, today's first experiment comes from Susan and Mary Test. The Alchemy 5000. Since the Middle Ages, man and girls have tried to alter the molecular structure of ordinary metal and transform it into precious metal. <laughs> The Alchemy 5000? That is your project? A pathetic medieval obsession of trying to turn metal into gold? Um, yeah. <laughs> Personal engraving is extra. Hmm. Hmm. It's just a milkshake. And it has milk in it. And we shook it. Don't do it! Nothing is worth it! We'll increase your testosterone level so you can grow a mustache. So Sweet. Okay, give me the shake. <laughs> Shows muscle mass increased by 800% and a height differential. Okay, where is it? Ooh, buff lamp. How many times have your mother and I told you no precious metal changing devices in this house? <laughs> Professor Slopsink called and said if this fell into evil hands, it could be used for evil things. Now get rid of it before dinner or no lab time for a month. One month! Okay, we gotta trash this thing. Thanks, cutie! I blame you for this. <laughs> Susan and Mary Test. The only two minds on Earth almost as smart as mine own, but not quite as evil. And now that I have your gold-making thingy... Give it back, Eugene. Never! And it's Bling Bling Boy! What's the evil plot this time? Oh, I'm going to hook your precious gold-making machine to my super laser and turn Pork Belly into my personal treasure chest. But I won't do it if Susan goes out with me and we're boyfriend-girlfriend. What? Gross, no way. You will be mine, Susan Test! <laughs> How can we get the Alchemy 5000 back and destroy it by dinner? Give me extreme kung fu powers and a baby pet triceratops, and we're in. Yeah! Using these extreme kung fu powers, you must defeat Eugene's ninja cyborgs, grab the Alchemy 5000, and get back before dinner. Yeah, great story. Now load us up! Begin kung fu power simulation. <laughs> Silly me. Wrong program. Boy to his parents' private island, 30 miles off the coast. I've preset the coordinates into the hydro cruiser, which you know comes complete with nitro rope, phone, and licorice if you get hungry. Here's a funny thing. I've decided not to risk my life over a chubby kid obsessed with gold and Susan! The island is full of tall, fresh, never been peed on trees. Oh, yeah, okay, move over. I'm in. <laughs> A test 
of my evil powers will convince Susan Test to accept my invitation of love. Sir, we're not 100% sure that the laser fits through the... Silence! Don't make me cranky! <laughs> Mom, I'm studying. Girls, dinner will be ready in an hour. Is that machine destroyed? Almost. And where's your brother? He took Dookie for a walk. He said he'd be home before dinner. He better be home before dinner. <laughs> Wind is fun! Small watercraft approaching. Destroy it. <laughs> Uh, do you know what you're doing? Yes, I'm pushing colorful buttons. <laughs> ah! We're a large city duck! This looks promising, yet at the same time, disturbing. <laughs> Dinner's almost done, so let's do this. I say we split up. You go check out that large, menacing-looking fake volcano, and I'll check out that forest full of fresh trees. Copy that. <laughs> Johnny, hurry! Get the Alchemy 5000 and get home! Don't worry, Psycho Sisters. With my new ninja prowess, there's no way Bling Bling Boy can stop me! <laughs> Whoa. Didn't see that coming. Your brother and a golden laser. Do we have a date? Why don't you just get some therapy and come back to school? Is Slop Sink still sore about my thesis eating his hand? Yeah. Then never! And now I want more than a date. I want a kiss, and it had better be big and smoochy. come to rescue me. I really tried not to. Oh, and I made a phone call, too. Okay, I'm out of here. You may have won this round, Johnny Test, but you won't stop me from turning Pork Belly into gold! Gold! Eugene, what's going on up there? I already told you, I'm studying. <laughs> Target locked. Preparing golden laser blast. Yeah! Our kung fu powers are useless! Is there anything that can stop him? That might stop him. Johnny! Thanks to you, Bling Bling Boy will be punished to the fullest extent of the law. For minors. So, he'll be out in about a week. Eugene! Bloody world domination again? You are in such trouble, mister! No, you don't let her take me. Send me away! I I'm a bad boy! Arrest me! Please! There's only one person who can deliver a punishment more painful and tear-inducing than us. Mom. Now, we'd better get you home before your mom does the same. Johnny. Sorry I'm late. Dookie dropped the triple. <laughs> Thanks again for letting me destroy that gold-making thing. It was fun. I love you both. So, did anything else exciting happen today? Yeah. I taught Dookie a new trick. <sighs> Anything better than kids playing the game of baseball? Hey! 
Hey, great play out there! Moving! No batter, no batter! Just throw the ball! Hit me home, Test, and I won't hit you! You're out! Game over! <laughs> better luck tomorrow, Test. Well, you can't hit a thing, but you do create a nice, refreshing breeze. <laughs> what? I'm trying to cheer you up. Ah, Gil. I need to whack a baseball so far that people will freak and Sissy Blakely will stop wrecking on me. Yeah, nice to see you too, Johnny. What will it take? It's our latest project for Professor Slopson. It's a study on hair replacement. We need to test if it creates any significant hair growth. That would be a yes. Look at all this hair! Uh, think of all the joy you'll bring Slop Sink and bald men like him all over the world! Hmm. Now, what do you need? The game starts in an hour and I still can't hit a baseball. The deal was that I show them all I can hit! Relax! Because I will now throw you the not yet patented extreme magno tracking laser hide projectile. Or the XMTLH baseball. It has a built in homing system to this bat. I'd use the single setting. A higher batting average doesn't get the glory, but contributes more to the team's winning percentage. You just need to make contact. A light or hard swing won't make a difference. Yeah, great story. Throw the ball! <laughs> awesome! Not awesome. Dad, yeah, he hit old man Newman's house. Run! You kids, that's the eighth window this week. I'm calling your parents and the police and Santa and telling them you're bad. Bad! Just, Just throw, throw the ball back, back you crotchety old... old... Never! Okay, so you need to make me another one of those XMT whatever baseballs. Can't. We're out of plutonium. The game is in an hour. We have to go get that ball. Who's with me? Not me. Me neither. I'm out of here. Then I guess I'll show Dad this photo from your failed mongrelfication experiment. Or this one to the neighborhood dogs. No fair. I was sleeping. Where did you get the van? Found it. The ball is in the living room. Zip in, grab the ball, zip out, and we're out of here. Move! This is gonna be like taking candy from a baby. I'll replace a candy with a baseball. And the baby with a crotchety old man! <laughs> Johnny, the sonar scan has picked up a large moving beast. Big dog! Big dog! said this was parked illegally? Ah, you're no match for my superior old mind. Ho, ho, ho! Somebody's on my naughty list and better get back that baseball ho, ho. I need that baseball! This guy is good. Really good. The game is in 10 minutes. I'm gonna be a laughing stock again, and you're not doing anything to help. Time for plan H. I think we have to plan I. Actually, it's plan J. Hi, Mr. Newman. This is your pharmacist. Your dentures and uh, laxatives are ready. Never use them. Uh. Oh, I meant uh. 
We have a new gel that will make you younger, so please come down and get it. Cool. Okay, let's put Plan J into action. Actually, I recrunched the numbers, and this is Plan K. It's the perfect plan. Ah, it doesn't fit! Tell me something I don't know. Go get it. Go get the ball, boy. What, you talking to me? Why me? Because you're part retriever, and that's what they do. And the dog beast is asleep. So, go! Well, what do you know? I am part retriever. Wait, you sleepy and yard. Whoa, didn't see that coming. <laughs> Time for plain cake. L. Run! We gotta do something. Wait a minute. We don't have one. What are you doing? You're supposed to hit the evil dogs! I just have to make contact. Okay, I see where you're going with this now. <laughs> Woohoo! We made it! We're gonna live! We're gonna live! Or not. <laughs> there is no gel that makes you younger. I just want the ball back. What do I have to do? How about an apology for breaking my window? Fine. He's sorry he broke your window. Now the game's about to start! And turn the diamond around so my house isn't a home run target! Deal. And you don't have to yell! Anything else? And maybe I could coach some games sometimes today, maybe? Sure. But no dog beasts. They are evil! They're not dog beasts. They are my Smoopy, Puppy, Wuppy, Sheila, and Betsy, and they can be very sweet. Let's go, Johnny! Game over, everyone. Test is up. Good strike out this time! Come on, Johnny, a home run wins the game! Oh, he'll be running home all right, as in crying to his mommy right after I strike him! Geniuses. Ah! He hit the not as old as me, but crazier than me, man, test house. Johnny! Johnny! Run!